Was it yeah. the they crow? Go, they definitely go in between trees. <laughs> Dang. Hey, welcome back. Uh, so in this video, we're going to start making a pad here for our water tanks. But we've got two big stumps there. We're not going to remove the stumps because they're so close to the pilings. But we're going to probably cut into them and then make make this as, as level as we can. And then there's some trees behind us because this was our pathway to get to the back side of the cabin. So we're, there's some other trees we're going to have to drop and then make a, a new trail that goes around this way. Um, but anyways, might as well bring you guys along with us. <laughs> Let's get to it. Well, this is what I suspected because we never had good drainage in here. There was no like real leach field. It's just the kitchen sink went down to a three foot, three inch pipe and was just buried right here. So uh, part of putting in our uh, our water tanks is we're also going to bury uh, some three inch pipe and we'll, we'll go 30, 40 foot out that way. And we're going to dig up and, and try to do like a proper leach field. So uh, our kitchen waste will have somewhere to, to go. Uh, but yeah, this was definitely, definitely uh, not acceptable. So this is all it was, was uh, that's coming down from the kitchen sink. It went out there, went into that little three inch pipe, but that's only like two and a half, three, yeah, three foot. And then that was it. So uh, just the waste just stayed there, you know. Luckily, we never really put any any stuff down there. We normally do our dishes in two buckets, and then we'd take them outside down towards the beach and and throw them throw the dirty water out there. Because uh, if you put any any type of not like food, but any if you just dumped your water down there, you'd get a bad odor coming back up, you know, and and just a little bit. So uh, now we know why. We're gonna have to move the woodshed and get it into its new home. Oh, I, I know that's just extra work that uh, nobody wants to see me do but uh, that's what we're going to have to do because the woodshed is going to go back like 30 foot and this is this is going to come out 12 feet and going to be our kitchen I think uh, we've had some change of plans but I think that's what that's the route we're going to go and we're going to uh, where the tanks are we're going to have this this three inch pipe that is our waste, it's gonna come down, but we're also gonna have like a water catchment, uh, like a, a safety net. So if anything ruptures in the tank area, uh, there'll be like a little tubes that comes up and any water that starts to go out can go down that and, and go out to the leach field. That's our game plan at least. All right, so we're gonna get some trees down here. Um, I need to, to 
make a path back here, and that's that's a big project. And I need want to get that done before we get the tanks put in place. So that's what we're going to do now. <laughs> So that tree was leaning like way, basically it was leaning this way towards the tent. I don't know if the video picked it up, but it was leaning towards the tent. So I did a big open face cut on it and then plunge cut into it so I could drive a wedge in there, but it didn't matter because I had too much uh, tree on the backside by the time I cut that tree out. I needed to cut more out with my plunge cut, but uh, yeah, that's about a 130 foot tree, man. That was leaning the wrong way. When I feel these big trees, I always get excited. And uh, I hooked the winch up to it because it was definitely leaning the wrong direction. So anyways, that's the first of a few. All right, let's drink some water now. <laughs> whoop, 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 whoop. What did you whoop. call it? Damascus? Guard, garden Isn't alert, garden alert. Isn't it Damascus? So, I said I said diatomatrous. I don't even know if that's a word. <laughs> so, unfortunately, my cabbage, my broccoli, and my cauliflower all had root maggots. Yuck. A lot of them. They, so they ate the roots. They ate the roots. Hold on, I'll give yeah. give uh here, step out and I'll, I'll... this little bastard right here. Look at that. Yeah, but here, look, let me... So, look, they ate all the roots. Like, that guy still had some roots, but, I mean, they just eat them all, and they were all dying, so... Um, let me find a good one here. Here we go. Is that a, a little maggot? Root maggot. Hey, maggot. Yeah. So, we learned something this year, that if we, we need to keep the flies out... We put fly traps up. And we already caught some bastards today. Yeah, but so if we're not covered, um, if we're not covered here with the plastic, then I think next year what we're going to do is we're going to get some, um, we have no seam netting. Yeah. And we have a, like really big rolls. So I think we're just going to cover it up and then um, cinch it down if it gets hot next year, which... It probably won't, but it, it just got so hot this year that we took off the um, 
the plastic and it just allowed the I don't know. I can't remember what kind of fly it is, but they just laid all over the place. Maggot so, fly. So next year I know when I plant um, my seedlings, I need to surround them with Damascus earth. And then we need to cover it with either our plastic or um, our netting that we're going to do next year. So we'll... But we do have good news. You already picked some zucchini. You want to show us some zucchini? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We had zucchini. We, we planted the zucchini too close together. Oh, uh, yeah. Obviously. Oh, look, there's a big one. Where? Right there. You see that? Oh, yeah. That's a big guy. Yeah. That's ready to go. Yeah. I could probably clip him soon. So, yeah, there's lots of zucchinis in there, and it was delicious. Oh, look. Look at all the cute ones right here. Look at those little fellas. <laughs> oh, look at this little guy. Hello, little fella. <laughs> so, um, so, I don't know. Um... I don't, yeah, and I'm afraid that I'm going to have to kind of get in there to make sure the root maggots aren't in here, but bummer. It makes me sad, but hey, it's a good learning lesson. We're first-time gardeners. We don't know nothing. I'm just, I'm We're just, just happy stuff grew. <laughs> true. I'm totally true. I mean, true. if it dies because of some maggots, okay, I'm fine with that. <laughs> I'm just, now we know. Yeah. You got to put the DE down. De. I, I say de because I don't know how to say the. I think it's called the Mas Damascus Earth. I something think. like that. We got to go into town and get some um, supplies, and we're gonna go talk to the nursery and buy some stuff, and and uh, maybe pick up our son and Ashley and bring them out for a, a day. Um, but yeah, it's just we're 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 new gardeners, so it's all a learning experience. So that's why I'm kind of we're gonna wrap this video up and we'll put it out. Uh, I guess on Friday and um, yeah it'd be so nice to see you guys let me show you what I've uh, we got uh, two we got two big trees down and uh, a couple of little trees down but I'll show you what, what we got all stacked up over here I got the straight portion of the tree before it hit the branches and before it started to curve and to twist and turn uh, I bucked all those up in like uh, eight and ten foot sections, and uh, so then I uh, I hooked the winch up to the tractor and we skidded them over there, and then I just stacked them all up right here. So soon we're going to put the chainsaw mill together, and we're going to mill us some wood, and we may use that on the um, on the on the woodshed. We're thinking about building a new woodshed. So the next couple of videos are just going to be busy work videos uh, or the next video I guess I should say because we got uh, a few more trees to uh, put down and we got some a lot of wood to split so uh, if you're not interested in those kind of videos then skip them but uh, we got to get that stuff out of the way and then we're going to start putting in the leach field and then after the leach fields in we're going to build the pad for the tanks and then we can then we got a project after that but that's uh that's what we're focusing on right now. But we gotta we gotta get all this stuff out of the way so we can do the work and get the tractor back here and stuff. All right. Well, thank you guys for watching. We'll see you next time.